Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Connect the Dots podcast. The Connect the Dots podcast. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Focus. 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 Here we go. Uh, Connect the Dots is a podcast that takes the time to explore deep, thought-provoking questions that I have, and uh, we learn more about neurodiversity. Um, I bring interviews from a variety of individuals on a variety of subjects, and I learn how to I learn how to navigate the workplace. I help you learn how to navigate the workplace through the ways that I've had to navigate the workplace. <laughs> Through all of this, uh, I am working to help us connect the dots and uh, bring together this beautiful journey that we call life. My name is Heather and I am your host. (laughs) As you can tell, there's um, today's going to be one of those episodes. Uh, If you've never been, if you've never listened uh, before, this is probably a good episode to get started because this is we're going to get into that in a second. Let me finish this. Uh, my name is Heather. I am your host. My pronouns are she, her. I am a white female. I have short strawberry blonde hair. I am wearing red glasses. I have on a dark navy shirt with rose gold polka dots on it. Uh, I sit in front of a teal wall that is covered with different art pieces. Um, I also have a cat named Milo that sometimes likes to join us. Speaking of, I think he just walked in the room. Is he going to speak? Oh, he's behind me. He may speak. He may not. We shall see. Um, If this is your first time joining, welcome in. So glad to have you here um, to this mess of a show today. Um, If you're a returning guest, welcome back. So glad you returned. (laughs) Uh, If you are listening on your favorite podcast platform, um, this is available in a video format on YouTube as well. So if you want to maybe re-listen and just watch the shenanigans happen, you are more than welcome to. Uh, You can get that link down uh, in the description, show notes, whatever it's called. Uh, But no matter where you're listening or watching, your time is very much appreciated. Thank you for being here. I did miss putting out an episode last week. Um, I was recovering from COVID. Yes, uh, after h- however long it's been, two and a half years um, since the pandemic started, um, I, I did get COVID. <clears throat> um, very thankful that um, I vaccinated, boosted, all of that jazz. Um, isolated for 10 days here in this lovely office, uh, bought an air mattress, uh, waved to my husband from the door. Um, you know, like, hi, husband, miss you. Um, but isolated here in my office for uh, 10 days um, because I did not want Jay to get COVID because he didn't. He, he stayed negative the whole time, which is amazing. I was very glad. I did not, I hated not sleeping in my own bed. Um, but, um, you know, it, it was 10 days in, in the grand scheme of things, right? Um, I, you know, I'm very thankful that I did not get super duper sick, um, you know, really, really achy the first couple days, really bad headache, uh, fever for a couple of days, uh, but then I never really got a cough, I never really got a runny nose, none of that. Um, the biggest things that happened kind of like, I don't know, halfway through were um, just the fatigue and the brain fog, which those are the reasons why there was not an episode last week. The week before, uh, if you go back and listen to the episode, um, it's the interview with Martha Arrington. Um, I did like the intro and the outro, but no video because I was sick. Um, (laughs) And I was not like those, those two weeks, like I barely put makeup on. Like I, I literally put foundation on and powder. That was it. Um, cause it was just simply, you know, occasionally I would have to be on video at work and <clears throat> wanted to at least look not completely pale and sick. Um, 
but yeah I just did not energy has been the thing that has been the hardest and, and the last thing to really come back um, I, I get pretty fatigued easily um, it's been a lot better like yesterday and today has been better um, and the brain fog um, like trying to find my words that's getting that's getting better um, th so like fatigue and brain fog those are the two things that like affected me the most um, and that have lingered the longest but um so so yes and that's why there was no episode last week um uh and so what i will try to do let me restate that i am going to try this is not a promise <laughs> or guarantee um because yep i uh hmm, may not may not happen but i am going to try and make up that episode uh, because that was a Navigating the Workplace episode that was supposed to be on resumes. And I know that's like a topic that uh, I, I remember when I love to talk about resumes. And so I really want to put that episode out. But then I also don't want to like, um, like push out the episodes. So like it was supposed to be about resumes. And then this month is supposed to be about inner. Ooh, let me check. I think it's interviews. Yeah, interviews. Uh, and so that, that'll actually make a really good pairing. So my goal is to put out two episodes in the last week of the, in the fourth week of the month uh, when we talk about navigating the workplace. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to catch you up on uh, before we get into today's topic? Um, so reminders, if you would like to donate to my 5050 charity and new microphone fund, uh, you can check out the buy me a coffee link in the show notes. Uh, once I hit $500, I will be purchasing a new microphone um, and then the remainder of the money will go to a charity to be chosen at that time. Uh, my goal is to give at least $250 to charity, uh, but it could be more because I certainly do not plan on spending $250 on a microphone. I just, you know what? Like, I just don't know that I can spend that much money on a microphone. So, uh, so there will be more money that will go to charity in that case. All right. Okay. Let's get into today's topic title of this podcast should have given it away. It's unscripted fun. Deep thoughts on nothing at all. <laughs> um, so again, like I said a, a minute ago, like the, the lingering things of COVID that have affected me the most are fatigue and brain fog. Um, not being able to find words, not being able to focus. Granted, some of that can be my ADHD, <laughs> but I'm going to attribute most of it to COVID at this point in time. Um, I could not, I had an episode, like I had, I have my plan of things I want to talk about. And in today's topic, like I do, I am going to do an episode on it, but I just am not in the right mindset to do that today. Not that it's a super serious topic. It's, it's about legacy and remembering your loved ones, but it just wasn't something that I, I just couldn't get into, into writing it. And so I went down like this, um, this Instagram, um, like, you know, avoidance tactic that I do. And I was doing that. And then I was like, why don't I just go old school Heather like I did in some of the hundred days of podcast and just unscript it and we'll have deep thoughts on nothing because it's the first week of the month meaning it's a deep thoughts episode <laughs> um so I have a couple of things on my mind that I do want to chat about uh, so if you're not uh, uh, watching the YouTube video, um, you won't be able to see this, but I will um, describe it for you. So the other day, my husband, um, I say the other day, it was a couple weeks ago at this point. Uh, it was pre-COVID. <laughs> so uh, this is when I could, you know, like go out of this room without a mask on, um, which I can now, but obviously, you know, anyways. Oh, see, Just tell the story, Heather, tell the story. All right, so my husband goes to Publix um, a couple weeks ago, and they have Publix has BOGO stuff, 
love a good BOGO, right? Especially when it's stuff that we that we drink or stuff that we eat that's typically expensive. Um, and so they had Mango Cart on BOGO. So Mango Cart beer, it's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite drinks. Uh, my, it's one of my acid reflux's least favorite drinks. So I have to be careful. Can't have too many uh, for multiple reasons. <laughs> The first being my acid reflux, because that will get me before having too many will. <clears throat> um, it's on BOGO. Awesome. Great. Uh, so he goes and he, he picks up. They only had one. Uh, they only had one six pack. And so he picked it up. And then there was another beer that, that went in with the BOGO thing. So he, he picked that up too. And he comes home. He puts them in the fridge. And I go into the fridge a little bit later. Open the fridge. And I'm like, huh. That looks funny. Hey, honey, did you realize that you picked up the non-alcoholic mango cart? <laughs> and he was like, they make non-alcoholic mango cart? Apparently. And I, I mean, now I have seen it before. I have never purchased it. Um, because I was a little bit like, I don't know what it's going to taste like. Um, I mean, you know, I'm, I, I, I do um, drink. Um, so, like, it doesn't, I, w I wasn't looking for a non-alcoholic solution, um, but let me tell you, this, um, non-alcoholic Golden Road Brewing Mango Cart is amazing. It, it tastes like Mango Cart. What? Like, but no, but, you know, it, let me, the disclaimer, right? It contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. There's your disclaimer. <clears throat> so, um, but it is quite tasty. So if you, um, maybe you're looking for that alternative, I'm going to open it. Oh, I should have done that in the freaking microphone. Maybe you would have heard it better. Uh, really off my, uh, my ASM, ASMR marks today. Sorry about that. Um, but um, it is it is quite tasty. So if you're just looking for something that maybe you could, you know, have at dinner, you're not, you know, so you're not worried so much about drinking the alcohol. This is a fantastic alternative. <laughs> uh, oh, coaster, Heather. No, lots of electronics around here. You put that on a coaster. Um, okay, so that's one bit um, that I wanted to, to tell you about in case you didn't know. Um, there's also, when I did Whole30, the, um, you're not allowed to drink on Whole30. And I had, um, I had found this company called Ritual and they make non-alcoholic spirits. Their gin, uh, the Ritual, um, gin was very good. Um, I, I would mix it with... Um, it was this elder flower rose water, uh, like sparkling water stuff from Fresh Market. And it was delightful and refreshing. And it just, you know, it's just like a little mocktail. A mocktail, you know, out on the patio in the evening. It was just so nice. I, I mean, so Ritual makes some good stuff. Um, they're... There were two things that tasted very similar. Te the tequila, was it the tequila and the rum, or it was the the whiskey and the rum. Like two of them kind of tasted similar. Um, but I was, I, I'm not a, a huge gin drinker, but their fake gin was tasty with the right mixer. Uh, it's not something that you should, it's not a shot. You don't take shots of non-alcoholic spirits. <laughs> At least I don't. I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see. Um, we're doing this uh, stream of consciousness, consciousness thing um, where I'm just going to, you know, ramble for just a little while. I'm going to try not to go too long today um, unless I just get on a real good subject and then we get going and rolling and that's fine. Um, just bear with me. Forgive a forgive a girl recovering from the vid, okay? Um, I got sunburnt this weekend. 
Uh, so if you're if you're if you're watching the YouTube, you can see my my sunburnt. Uh, my hands got sunburnt. That's the worst. The, the hands in my part. So if you're again, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see like my part is sunburnt. Yeah, that's not fun. So um, your part, your hands, and your ears. Those are the th and feet. My feet did not get sunburned though. Um, but the other things did. Um, and it's all because we figured this out. Because I am very adamant about putting on sunscreen. I am very good at this. Uh, because I am very pale. I get burned very quickly and very easily. So I am very adamant about putting on sunscreen multiple times. We were at the beach for... I don't know, four and a half hours maybe, I put on sunscreen three times while we were there. When we got there and we went in the water, we came back and I was sitting under an umbrella in the shade, um, put on more sunscreen, waited, because you got to wait, right? Let it soak in. Then went back in the water, hung out, came back in the shade, put on sunscreen, waited, went in the water, came back out of the water, put on my water or my long sleeve water shirt to protect myself. Back in the water, hung out, came back, sat in the shade, and then we went home. Um, and we were talking about, like, trying to figure out, like, how did I get sunburned? Like, I put on sunscreen um, three times. And, uh, and we were thinking about it, and I said, you know... I had, so I put on, I always start with like a, a zinc, so like a sheer zinc, uh, Neutrogena, not an ad, um, <laughs> Neutrogena, um, sunscreen, I always put that on first, um, I have the face stuff, and then I have the, the regular sunscreen, and then I, um, the second round, I used our Copper Tone spray, third round, um, I picked up the Australian Gold that was in the bag. And I noticed the Australian gold, like it was a little like runny, but it was sitting like in the sun. It was hot. And I was like, Oh, I guess just it got hot. So it got a little melty. Uh, didn't think, I did not think anything of it other than, Oh, it's hot. And it's just, uh, just from that. So when we were talking about it last night, we pulled it, pulled the bottle out to see, like, well, was it expired? Because we've had that happen before where our sunscreen has expired. And, um, oh, this is fun. Ha sorry, my, <laughs> my computer just went to sleep in the middle of that story because I haven't moved the mouse in a minute. Um, okay, sorry, we're back. Hi. Um, so we, we get the, um, we, we notice that it's expired. And I was like, but we just bought that sunscreen. Like we just, like we had to have just bought it like this year because we go through sunscreen on the regular. We live in Florida. We go to the beach 12 months out of the year. So sunscreen is a staple in this household. It usually does not go bad. And so we backtracked, like, where did we buy this sunscreen? We bought this sunscreen on our cruise in January. And we, if we remember correctly, we bought it from the cruise ship. And in January, when we bought this, it was expired at that point. Because it expired in 2021. So, there is my PSA for you today. Check your sunscreen expiration dates. That stuff goes bad and you will get burnt. There's my PSA statement. Public service announcement for all of you. Sunscreen's important. I even put, I have like special chapstick. Like I, I have my, uh, my chapstick. has got SPF in it. I even put that on multiple times and my sun, and my lips still got sunburnt. Oh man. Like it was just one of those days at the beach. It was so much fun though. We had such a good time. It's the first time I've been to the beach in um, at least a month. So I needed that. 
I needed, not the sunburn, but I needed the beach. I needed to hang out in the water. I needed to hang out with my friends. Um, it was amazing. We had such a great time. Um, let's see. What else? Um, what else do I have going on that uh, we can talk nothingness about? <laughs> oh, okay. I know, I know. This actually goes back to the, oh gosh, I keep hitting my microphone thing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if it's loud. Um, so back to the cocktail thing. All right. I am not on TikTok. I do not have a TikTok account. I do not have the app on my phone. I've refused. I have refused, refused, refused because I don't need another time suck in my day because I'm already watching lots of YouTube videos and I'm already watching lots of Insta stories. I don't need another social media time suck. However, there may be an account that I have that, that I have to sign up for TikTok just to go follow. So Carmion Hamilton shared this on her Insta stories. <laughs> she shared this on her Insta stories. So Monday night, she's she's hanging out, she's in bed watching TikToks. <laughs> and she comes across this account. So I've talked about Carmi on here on the on the show before. I did a whole episode of her uh, back of the hundred days of podcast, um, and, and how much I just I I just adore and respect her and just in all of the things that she does. I think she's amazing, and so she she's all into the crafty cocktail as well. And I'm I'm here for the crafty cocktail. I love a beautiful cocktail. I love a good tasting cocktail. Um, I love to you know make them. I don't do it a lot. Um, because typically I forget to buy the things you need, but, um, I do like to drink out of nice, fancy glasses, um, and feel adultish. Um, so she makes craft cocktails from time to time. She has a little series also that she does from time to time called craft, uh, cocktails, crafts and cocktails, I think, where she makes a craft while she makes a cocktail and then she does a craft. Hello. Hello sign me up, right? Anybody wine, paint? Yep. That thing. Uh, it's that kind of vibe. Love it. So she does that occasionally, um, on Instagram. Anyways, she shares this TikTok and this TikTok is this gentleman. He is, um, it's one of the TikToks where it's like the TikToker is reacting to another video, like whether it's a YouTube video or like another TikTok or, or whatever, right? But he's reacting to this video. The video, the, so the first one that she shares is this video um, of, of the gentleman. He is watching this, this girl. Um, she's probably, I don't know, mid-20s maybe. Um, and she's uh, making a beverage. She's making an old-fashioned, actually. One of my favorite drinks. Making it old-fashioned. And... <laughs> and she takes and she's like, okay, here's what you need. You need bourbon. Yes. You need um, cher maraschino cherries. No. <laughs> That is an incorrect answer. Uh, you need, uh, sl you know, orange slices. Okay. Yeah. Uh, garnish. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you need um, bitters and sugar cube or simple syrup. Your preference, right? So, okay. Got their in ingredients. Not all of them are correct. <laughs> so, this she says, all right, so you're going to put a slice of orange in the cup. And then you're going to put some cherries. And, so, and she picks the cherries out of the jar with her fingers. <laughs> so she picks the cherries, puts them in the thing. And then she's like, okay. And now you're going to muddle them. And then she doesn't have a muddle. She uses the end of a wooden spoon. <laughs> and her name is Janae. And so the guy that's watching this video, he just keeps going, Janae. 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 Like... <laughs> It's so funny, like, his reaction to this. Because muddled fruit in a old-fashioned is wrong. 
It is wrong. No, you do, and you do not use maraschino cherries. No, thank you. Ugh, you use the good ones, the dark ones that are fantastically sweet and lovely. Um, and you don't muddle those. They go on a stick as a garnish that you eat at the end. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, and the orange does not get muddled either. No, no, that's what the bitters are for. The bitters are or have like a little orange flavor um, and and then you take the orange and, and you pe you just use the peel and you um, to get like the the oils out of it uh, and you like some people will little light it on fire a little bit and then they'll rim the glass with it and then they'll drop it in right because that's what you do um, uh, and then so okay so she oh and she muddled a sugar cube in there as well I've seen people use sugar cubes sugar cube muddling is fine because it's only the sugar cube, <laughs> not the fruit. Never muddle the fruit. No. Um, so then she goes, okay, let's use this, put in the bitters. <laughs> and she puts in the bitters. Nothing comes out that we can, that you can tell. Like nothing comes out of this. Um, also, she's making this cocktail in a pint glass, like, like a beer glass, which if you were going to shake, if it was a shakeable drink, right, you would build the the drink in a shaker. Uh, old fashioned is not a shake shaking kind of drink; it's a stir. Um, it's a stir drink, not a shake, right? Uh, we don't James Bond it over here with our old fashions, okay? Um, so we have phantom bitters in this drink now. And then she pours the bourbon. And she says, all right, you're gonna pour an ounce and a half of bourbon. Let me remind you again, she is making this cocktail in a pint glass. Now at this point she has put ice in it. Like full up to the top with ice over the muddled fruit. And then she's like, and now an ounce and a half of bourbon. Um, yeah. She filled that sucker to the top. Um, that is more than an ounce and a half of bourbon, ma'am. <laughs> more than a half, more than an ounce and a half. I'm sorry. And the guy that's watching the video, the, the guy that's reacting, he goes, his reaction is like, Janae, are you okay? Is something wrong? <laughs> because she has filled this entire pint glass with bourbon. <laughs> and just, just, to, just to watch and listen to this guy react to this girl. And these videos are from... Oh gosh, I don't know how old they are, but they look they look like they're probably from maybe the early 2000s. Maybe the early 2000s cuz she made another drink called the oh, called the Fruit Loop. Fruit Loop. Blue Carousel. About an ounce and a half. I don't know how much she poured. She she poured it and she was like, "You know, about a, about a quarter of the glass." No, ma'am. No, you need to put a pourer on those bottles, please. <laughs> or use a jigger or a measuring cup, something. Um, and then she filled it, so blue carousel, and milk. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> oh, so gross. Oh, it's so gross. I just, like, no ice. She didn't shake it. She didn't stir it. Nothing. Oh, so gross. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah. Anyways, I may have to join TikTok just to watch this guy's account. I need to see if he's on Instagram. Because if he posts them on Instagram, that's my workaround. Because I don't need another time. I don't need another social media. I don't. Um... <laughs> How long have I been here? I've been here for 30 minutes. 
there anything else in the deep thoughts of nothing um, and unscripted fun that I would like to share with you again I'm hit I keep hitting my microphone because um, yeah I, I do oh I know thank you for staying with me by the way if you're if you're still here for this randomness it's appreciated so I did an episode I guess it was last month um, yeah, last month was the Deconstructing Toxic Positivity episodes. Um, that was the deep thoughts. And, of course, you know, I, I watch a bunch of this, like, type of stuff on YouTube, right? I follow people like Kia's World and Savvy, um, from Savvy Writes Books, from uh, Camellia, uh, Heather the Lawyer. Um, I've watched a couple of B. Haney videos, uh, Mac Attack. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else. I don't probably, but those are the main ones that I've watched. And it's funny because right now they're, they're all, because they're, so Cam and Kia have a channel together called Cringe Fluencers. So sometimes their outside videos of Cringe Fluencers will coordinate with the Cringe Fluencers as well. But it's really funny because like this kind of circle of people. Oh, and, and pop psychology. Um, his name is David. Dave. Um, let's see, now I've got to, I've got to find it because I don't want to say it wrong. Um, but his channel is pop psychology or pop psych is the channel. Um, Dave, uh, Colorossi. So he, he was a, a psychiatrist, psychologist, and now he does like executive coaching or something. He did a video the other day about what the difference between coaching and therapy is. We're going to have to dive deeper into that one because there's a line. <laughs> he did a good job of explaining it. Um, I'd, I'd be interested to understand how he went from psychology to coaching. I'm interested to to hear, like, does he bring his psychology into his coaching? I, I need to do some more research on that. I'm fascinated by it. I like the guy. He's he's good. He's funny. Um, but, sorry. Woo, digress. Um, <laughs> but I find it very funny because it's, like, when, when stuff gets popular or people talk about people, like, other people talk about people talk about those people so you get like you know so like people will talk about Rachel Hollis somebody will do a video about it somebody will do another video about it somebody will do another video like another video like it goes in the circle right and then they like Jenna Kutcher just had a book come out so like a bunch of people did Jenna Kutcher videos um, and then Lisa Bilyeu had a book come out a bunch of people did videos about Lisa Bilyeu Gabby Bernstein same thing and I just I keep noticing this pattern <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny. I don't mind this pattern. I just find it funny. It makes my brain go, huh. Like just finding the, the patterns that happen in, in life and, and things that are going on. <clears throat> Recently, they have started talking about a guy named Andrew Tate. Now, apparently, this person is very big on TikTok. I, again, not there, don't know, don't care. Um, <laughs> so he, apparently he's big over there. Um, and he's kind of seeping into some things over on Instagram. And I'm sure I've said his name now, like he's going to fill my freaking feed up with sponsored crap. Um, <clears throat> um, sorry. The, um, but like this guy is a particular kind of, terrible. I mean, so Cam did a video um, of him. Cam lives in Romania and that is actually where he is. Um, it's where he lives. He's not Romanian, but that is where he's living for uh, probably tax purposes. Um, yeah, he is gross in the way that he talks about women and the way that he, 
like tries to mansplain these things and how men are so superior to women. It is, it's infuriating. Kudos to Cam for making it through a video about him. I would have thrown my hands up in the air and been like, you are a piece of beep, 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 beep. I am not even giving my time to you. <laughs> because he is just that bad. But what I find funny is, so Cam did a video about him. Pop Psych did a video about him, like just a little snippet about him the other day. And then somebody else, I, gosh, I can't remember who shared it. Um, I love when people share TikToks on Instagram because then I get to watch them and I don't have to have TikTok. Um, so somebody shared this TikTok on Instagram and it was this guy that was like, he was like, let me see how, it, it's like how many licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. It was how many clicks, how many clicks, likes, comments does it take for me to get down the, like to get to a Ben Shapiro video. Um, Cause he, he was testing, testing some, some alt-right stuff. So he creates this account and he searches something he comments on a video he doesn't search like like he just searches something like a 12 year old boy would search um and and then so he comments on a video and then from there he gets like you know something else on his page and then all of a sudden he gets an andrew tay video and so he likes it and then all of a sudden his for you page is all all Tate it's Tate 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 and so he he goes through he and it's starting to get more political and so he he clicks on a couple of the of the videos right he likes a couple of the videos and then again he starts getting more different things and then finally lands on the Shapiro video and it was like really quick how he got down like that kind of path real fast. Um, algorithms are very weird and they are, they are helpful when they are helpful. They are not helpful more often than not. Um, because something like that, right? This you know, he was testing, he was testing it. And I know people do this all the time, but people do this in their, in their real lives, right? This happens to me. I go and I search something, not anything bad, right? I search bathing suits and I start getting ads everywhere for bathing suits. I searched electric bicycles I, or I clicked. I'm sorry. I didn't search for them. I clicked on an ad because it was a pretty teal bicycle. And I'm like, man, I would really like an electric bicycle. I wonder how much this one cost. Probably more than I want to spend. It was. Um, but now, every other ad is an electric bike. Every other ad. <laughs> so, algorithms are helpful when you are, you know, like when you're looking for things. Like, I get a bunch of cat videos on um instagram like where it comes up and it'll like give you like the the mini like the reels right like the mini reels i think it's instagram that does that i remember that's all facebook i think that's all facebook anyways facebook instagram whatever it's the reels um or stories whatever you want to call them wherever you are um but i get two kinds on facebook roller coaster point of views in cats. <laughs> Thank you, algorithm. That is good stuff. I like those two things. Thank you for that. However, if you click on the wrong thing, if you search the wrong thing, that algorithm could all of a sudden like just turn you into like turn you down like the path of crazy. Um, that's what's scary to me when I think about people that like maybe aren't social media savvy or they're just 
super trusting of things and, and don't know how to check references, check resources. Um, and, and they just, or they're just, again, mindlessly watching and not paying attention to the deeper and deeper and, and darker and darker that it gets. Um, <clears throat> it also, the algorithm thing, it puts you in a silo where you're not seeing other things that are like opening up, opening you up to other perspectives. Um, I think that's something, oh, look, look, Heather's now getting serious. Sorry, I will end this thought very quickly, I promise. I'll save all of the, all of the deep stuff for another episode, because this is an unscripted fun episode. Um, but, <laughs> it's important to get the views, like, it's, it's important to look at differing views. And not just like be in your silo of any of just of whatever, right? Of only hearing the things that, um, you know, in in like only hearing the same the echo chamber. There's the word I'm looking for. You're in your own echo chamber um, where you're not hearing any other side or any other view. Not to make it change your mind, but to just make you realize that there are other things out there too. Um, like, let's take, for instance, the fact that it gives me cat videos. Lots and lots and lots and lots of funny, funny kitty cats. And I'm here for it all day long. But let's say these kitty cats, let's equate this to um, a, a subject, right? Let's equate it to a subject. If the kitty cat was a subject um, that said, um, you know, I don't want to make this political, so I don't want to, I want to pick something kind of quirky, um, and I can't think of anything right off, that you have to wear a seatbelt. There we go. Kitty cats uh, equate to the law that you have to wear your seatbelt, right? Uh, and dog videos equate to, no, seatbelts don't make you, make you any safer. Well, right now, I would be in the world of seatbelts are great because all I see are cat videos. I'm not exposed to any other point of view. <laughs> so that's what it's, that's the echo chamber that you can get into with certain subjects. That's where the algorithm is not serving us. Not that the algorithm should necessarily be pushing things upon you that are maybe opposite of your view, but it, in the same token, it shouldn't already be, it shouldn't just be pushing. There should just, you should have some control over it. This is a much deeper subject than I want to talk about today. But if you want to hear more about it, let me know. So you can send me a message on Instagram, not on TikTok, not there. Instagram. <laughs> I swear, I'm trying all that I can not to get on TikTok. I've held out for a really long time. Um, in in the in if the day comes that I join TikTok, I I will let you know, and I will drown my sorrows with a non alcoholic mango cart because it's tasty. Um. All right, this is, uh, yeah, we're at 44 minutes. I've got to wrap this up. Hey, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been good just to sit down behind the mic and um, let out some of the craziness that's in my head uh, <laughs> of all these crazy random thoughts that have been uh, in there uh, rolling around for the past couple weeks since I... Um, since I've been able to, to sit down and actually record an episode. So thank you uh, for indulging me. Next week, we're going to talk about neurodiversity because it's the second week of the month. Um, I have two different things I'm trying to figure out what I want to talk about. I have two kind of two different avenues that I want to go down. So I will figure that out at some point and, uh, and do my research this weekend, record the podcast, and you'll see what, you'll see what comes out next Thursday. Um, 
And with that, thank you so much for being here. I know I've said that before, but we're going to blame it on COVID brain. Um, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, yeah. I hope you had fun today. Let me know. If you want to find me on Instagram, I am at Ms. Heather B. M. S. H. E. A. T. H. E. R. The letter B. D. O. T. Um, polka dots are my signature color. Just in case you wanted to know. It's my favorite. Um, but you can uh, send me a message over there. Let me know. Like if you laughed. Share it on Instagram. Share it on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook as well. Uh, it's Connect the Dots Podcast. Uh, there's a page. There's a link down in the show notes description thing. Uh, where you can get to my Facebook account. Uh, and then I also have a Connect the Dots podcast Instagram account. All that stuff's down in the notes. Uh, if you feel like buying me a coffee uh, and contributing to the 5050 Charity Microphone Fund, link is down there as well. Uh, appreciate those who have donated already. And uh, with that, I'm going to wrap this thing up and tell you what I tell you at the end of every single episode. I want you to remember that you are loved that you are worthy and there are great things ahead for you in this life if you trust and believe in the Lord. We will see you next week. Bye!